Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. So today on the menu we do have the fresh fufu in a pot without any pounding. So you can enjoy fufu without the hassle. So fufu is actually made out of steamed cassava um, with plantain, which is then pounded together to form a soft, lovely dumpling. This is usually served with either mutton and light soup, which is a spicy tomato-based soup, or ajidechi in my local dialect, um, which means peanut butter soup or in katenkwang. Or, you know, the light soup with chicken is quite varied. You know, you can use lamb or your palm nut soup as well. Now, this um, recipe has actually been featured on my cookery show in Dubai Fafa with ABN TV on Sky 235, so do check it out. Okay, so this fufu recipe is actually inspired by my auntie actually gifting me some plantain and cassava. That's, I think, about a year and a half or two ago. And I was like, okay, I live in the UK and I don't have a pestle and mortar because usually the traditional way is to pound it till it's soft and stuff. So how can I do it? And I thought about it and I said, like, okay, you know, we use a fufu flour to make our own fufu. Um, and I was like, I can mimic that by using the wet ingredients. So it was an experiment that actually worked and I've never looked back. So I always have my fufu just within about, what, 10, 15 minutes? rather than the 45 minutes to an hour. I hope you do enjoy this episode. Thank you and Happy New Year, by the way. So for the ingredients, you need one large um, unripened plantain, which is a green one, and some cassava, half a cassava. Peel the cassava and de-string it. There's a string in the middle there that you actually um, use your knife to carefully take it out and then cut into little chunks. Okay. So when you actually peel the unripened plantain, this is what you get inside. And all you just do is just cut into little chunks as well, um, because I'm just gonna be blending it all together later. So place the um, cassava chunks and the plantain chunks into a blender. Now it's very important that you do invest in a very good blender, either Nutribullet or the Vitamix. Um, I've also been asked if one can actually use cassava dough. Yes, but you need to blend it further because you need a very smooth and silky butter. That's very important so that when you actually um, make the fufu, you have a smooth and soft fufu. So it is important. So here I do have my silky smooth um, butter and that will be ready to go on the heat for me to stir. Now you would notice that it's a little bit thicker than usual but it doesn't matter. You can add a bit of water to it if you wish. Um, but you know some people like their fufu a little bit firm and others like it soft. So when you start it this way it means that you can control the texture in the end. Um, so yes. Bear in mind, I've actually, yet again, I'm using one hand <laughs> with my iPhone and the other hand is actually doing the stirring. So bear with me with this. Um, but I hope you do get the gist of what I'm actually doing here. So you're actually just preparing the mixture into that sort of a banku mix thing. And you can see that that is forming now. You can see it's thickening up and that's just beautiful. You see? Now, it is important that you actually keep stirring as well um, so they don't have any lumps in it. And as you can see, it's actually just heated up and look at that texture. That's it. And at this stage, it looks like it's cooked. It's not cooked still um, because the cassava and the plantain will be raw. So I need to steam it as well. This has been cooking for about five to six minutes and I'm just gonna add about 200 milliliters of water and I'm going to steam this. So I just turn it around a bit and I'll just cover it and steam it for about 10 minutes. I mean, it looks like it's bubbling, but I'm going to lower the heat and cover it with a lid and um, steam it further. So I'm checking it now and it's bubbling perfectly. Um, this has been bubbling for six minutes now and I'll just turn it a little bit just to make sure it's not catching at the bottom. And yeah, look at that texture. 
That's just beautiful. <laughs> that is steam for 10 minutes um, I'm just turning it around and I love the texture I mean at this stage if you want to softer you can add a little bit more water but I think it's fine and this is just stunning no wonder I do have a very good bicep with all this twisting and turning yay <laughs> so Fufu is ready now I'll just add a little bit of water and then it will be easier for me to transfer from the saucepan to a bowl now don't be alarmed the texture of the stage um, will be a little bit softer and hot but you need to cool it down um, so you can see and look at that texture that's beautiful mm -hmm. fresh fufu in the pot i told you now to leave it to cool i also don't want uh, any skin forming on the surface so i just sprinkle with a little bit of water and i leave it till it completely cools down so this is completely cooled down and um, just add a little bit of water and then you can shape it into your preferred shape um, just do the traditional way as I could <laughs> yet again I'm using one hand on the phone and the other hand doing this um, so yeah I think this worked <laughs> thank you very much for joining me again on this um, episode and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, tell a friend. I'm on Instagram, Into Dubai for Far, Facebook, Into Dubai for Far. And also, you would find the transcript of um, the recipe on my blog, Into Dubai for Thank you and Happy New Year.